time. I'm looking forward to get the next one yes. done. Yeah. I mean, the way you did this one, the next one is super Oh, good. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Super excited about our next patient. She's a lipedema patient with stage four. She has significant lipedema around the calves, knees, ankle, thighs. Today we're gonna do 360 degree liposuction to the ankles, calves, and we're gonna go all the way up until we hit the five liters uh, limit. Super excited for her, that's gonna change her life. She's gonna feel lighter. She would need multiple procedures to get her to where we need to get, but ultimately all that heaviness that she had, it's gonna be gone. She's gonna feel better, her pain's gonna be better, mobility is gonna be better. Super, super excited for her. Yeah, so yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll do one side and then I'm going to have you stand up, have you take a look at the mirror, make sure you're happy with it compared to the other side. Wow. I'm going to have you also kind of like lift the legs just to see the difference between the two sides. Okay. I'm excited. You're going to do great in there. Okay. Sure are you. Yeah. <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> Teamwork. I'm confident. Guys, let's talk about BMI requirements and uh, plastic surgery, especially in lipedema liposuction. You know, a lot of time patients ask about kind of like what's the BMI requirement for the procedure, and that really depends. If we're doing a breast arc or a tummy tuck versus if we're doing lipedema liposuction. Um, for tummy tuck, you want to be conservative. You want to be BMI less than 35, ideally 32 and lower. However, if we're doing a lipedema case. A lot of the lipedema fat sits in the legs, and most of our lipedema patients, they have a higher BMI. Not because they have more regular fat, but the lipedema fat itself is actually heavy. And if we want to limit the BMI to 32 to 35 on our lipedema patients, then most of our patients won't be able to get help because they cannot lose that weight. Lipedema fat is not... Uh, doesn't uh, respond very well to diet and exercise. So really the solution here is liposuction. So, um, and as you can see here, our patient is more than uh, 35 BMI, but again, it's not in her hands. It's genetics, and the treatment here is liposuction. So we're going 360 degree from the ankle all the way up until we hit all five little parts, and we're gonna do that in stages safely until we get her to a point where the mobility is better, she feels better, the, the heaviness on the knees are better, and her quality of life will improve, the pain's gonna improve, and really this is a life-changing procedure. So not every patient is the same, and not every, it's not a cookie-cutter approach for everyone, so we take every person as an individual, and we really come up with a plan that really fits that patient's needs. Look at this ankle, looking so good already. You know, we used to do them asleep, and then when we shifted to awake, it's been a game changer. You see, like, the patient's holding her leg, she moves around, she feels. Now we're gonna have her stand up, we're gonna take a look, and are standing liposuction in a way. We see when they stand up, if there's any area that we didn't get. So, it, it just helps in every aspect. And you see, now I'm doing her foot, actually, uh, with this micro cannula here and it's been a game changer uh, recovery is better everything is better today you'll have ankles next time you'll have knees we just finished 360 lipo on her on our patient's right leg and take a look at the difference so if you look over here you see the achilles tendon here compared to the other side look at the difference it's like impressive uh, obviously this side is too masked, this side is too masked and liposuction. And look at that, it's like this leg belongs to a different person. Look over here and look over there. It's like she's stage four lipedema and lymphedema and look how awesome she's looking. 
again, 2.5 liters of fat out removed from that. And look at that, look at that ankle. We're kind of down to like skin only here. You see this is the bone, bone on the other side. Nice and smooth. And take a look, I mean, it's really life changing. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask the patient to stand up because she's fully awake. And then we're gonna have her take a look at the mirror, make sure she's happy with what she's having. And then we're gonna do the other side. I'm looking forward to get the next one done. Oh, good. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Hey, guys, we just finished another awesome uh, liposuction for lipedema case. Uh, our patient is stage four with lipedema and lymphedema. We did uh, 360 degree liposuction around the ankles calves and all the way up to the knees. We were not able to do all her knee because we hit that five liter and that's kind of what we expected before the surgery. So we went from the ankle all the way up to the knee area and we took 2.5 liters per side. We did 360 degree liposuction on her. I mean, she did great, she looked great, took a lot of lipedema uh, fat cells out. Her mobility is gonna be, uh, be better, she's gonna feel lighter and uh, she did amazing. We're super excited for her. Thank you so much for following along with us today. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions about what we do, make sure you leave them below and we're happy to answer any questions you have.